It's down in the den. So go tell a friend. The best podcast on earth is about to begin. We got jokes and news and movie reviews. After dark and NC-17 with the crew. Interviews with the best artists around. So like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now. Let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now. Welcome to Down in the Den. It's your boy Mars, and welcome to a very special Valentine's Day episode of Down in the Den. Mm. Back with me, one of my all time favorite guests. He's an incredible MC, number one. He's a talented actor, shithead, available on Tubi and Amazon right now. Dope movie. He is a hustler. If you need to get your business savvy up in the music industry hit my boy up he will hit you up with that he is a podcaster and overall he's just a great lovable guy he's my boy mr john e raps welcome back to the den brother how are you today thanks uh, thanks mars with them that was very flattering intro intro bro <laughs> i can barely speak up so flattered thank you for having me back more than welcome, man. It, Very it, flattering. It, yes, yes. It's, this is one of the reasons I do the show. Not only do I just love talking to incredibly talented creatives and artists and, and healers and whatever we do, I, 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 I like talking, but I get to meet talented artists that really are on that grind, enterprising spirit, and it just it inspires me. So I just wanted to say thank you. You inspire me. You're dope. And I consider you my friend for real in real life. So, you know, even a- outside of the uh, cameras and rap and music and stuff, you're a good dude. So once again, I'm, Thanks, I'm happy man. to have you, bro. Uh, it's all reciprocal. Happy to be back. Indeed, indeed. Well, it's Valentine's Day for all the lovers. At least when this comes out, it'll be Valentine's Day. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we're doing something special this episode. Of course, we're going to talk about what John's been doing since the last time you've seen him here. But we have something a little special for you later on. I'm going to keep that surprise. You know, if it's Valentine's Day, we're going to make it sexy for you. So uh, we'll we'll keep that surprise for later in the episode. But we got something very special for you. So, uh, bro, man, how has it been doing? You know, part-time rapper, dope, amazing, made great headway, see it blowing up. But you're working on something very, very special, a different project. Tell me a little bit about this new project you're working on. The new one coming out today on Valentine's or the the one coming down the pike? We want to talk about both of them. Let's start about the one coming down the pike, and then we're going to talk about the one that's coming out today. All right. Well, I actually have uh, two complete albums in the chamber ready for this year. (laughs) <laughs> so um you know the the part-time rapper came out and but that that title that uh single is also the title track of my first album so we're gonna we're gonna drop that album in a little bit um not sure exactly when because we gotta find out how this next single plays you know i like right. to do everything one at a time there's a there is a the long-term plan but you know, it's all fluid, baby. So we just got to see, we got to see how things pan out. But yeah, part-time rapper is going to be my first LP coming out this year. And then uh, hopefully I get to drop the second LP. And I have no idea what it's called, but it's got a completely different vibe. Um, you know, part-time rapper has a more poppy sound, I want to say, for lack of a better term. it's It's very much like house dance stuff with rap at times um i still come with some bars but it's it's more the purpose is to get you to dance and candy before the medicine but it's still candy it is good i fucking love candy so it, yeah it, and it's like a lot of funny shit you know yes. it's definitely like my and then my second album is more my you know my Marth, marshall mathers to my slim shady if you will i i am coming a lot more with the the harder bars and you know, we talked about how we both love MOP. I've been listening to like, you know, the hardcore classic shit. I don't know why that's just been my whole vibe since like summer of 21. And just I, 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 the whole second album is me trying to get you go like this <laughs> or like this. 
it's that energy that we need. Like these times, sometimes you need that energy. <laughs> Today, <laughs> Valentine's Day, a day for the lovers. I, I think a lot of the fellas, especially fellas that are in relationship, this is the gift we get every year for Chris and Lady. We like chocolate and roses too. But anyway, this is the gift that we tend to get every year for Valentine's Day. Tell if us we're what, lucky. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. Good, good. Good call, if we're lucky. If we played the cards correct. <laughs> right, right. Tell me a little bit about this new track that drops today, February 14th, Valentine's Day. I'm excited about it. Tell me a little bit about this track. Should I leave Should I leave the title to mystery right now, or, or should no, I? We, not drop that title. It's called Pussy. 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 P-U-S-S-Y Sometimes why I don't, I don't know why I don't know why I Sometimes why that's, that's something else I'm thinking of something else Yo um, I recorded this song in 2018 Tell us about so this journey For it to be coming out Is just I never thought it would happen You can't rush art bro you So it is, a, it is a fucking dream and it's fucking like it's submitted. It's like the artwork is in. It. It's it's like for real. I can see it on Spotify, and it's like only you can see this. But soon everybody can see this. We'll be flashing it here when this comes out. It'll be bro popping on the screen. I'm so right fucking stoked, man. Now I heard a little snippet of this song. I don't know how many months ago. Um, it's a while ago. And I, <laughs> I've, been, I've been showing shit about it for years. Wait, wait, it's been a while. I can't even remember. I have a photographic memory. And but we I shot the video in March of last year. So yes, it's, yeah, it's it, been a I've while. Been showing footage. And I remember saying, "Dude, I love this. Like, send me the stems. I want to be on the remix." I, I I thought it was a hit <laughs> immediately from like thirty seconds over. You know. Months. So, so, so tell me about how it came together. Like I said, it's 2018, so we're going on 2022. I'm not a math magician, but that's over two years. Uh, t- tell me about the, you know, the the challenges climbing this Mount Everest to get this song out. Well, the ep- the epic adventures of Pussy Man. Like, well, first of all, first of all, it and was that's the name of your like, album, by the way. What's that? The epic adventures of Pussy is the name of your your new album, by the way. <laughs> I think you just found that. But go ahead. Yeah, we're just gonna change it. Part time rappers. Uh, that's, a, that's a memoir. <laughs> that's the memoir. Yeah, memoir. yeah. So, uh, really, like the the pussy song in its essence is uh, the first big "told you so" moment from Rob. And I think I might have got into this a little bit on the last episode when I talked to you. I'm not sure because yeah. uh, I've told this story so much, but it was like you know I was. Definitely going like the 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 more lyrical route. Um, I actually don't think I had like the the mic skill to like pull it off at the time, like or the or the writing skill. Like the writing wasn't good enough to be like all those words. <laughs> and on, like honestly, I'm I'm much better now, which is why right. I can do bars, and, and it's not like a problem. But like back then we were lacking for some catchy shit and I didn't really know how to do hooks and stuff. Right. right. And so Rob was trying to teach me how to do hooks and he was just like, dude, you need to dumb it down. You can't be all lyrical miracle all the time. Not everybody wants to hear bars. It doesn't work with every single song. And like, you know, I had some, just like some bullshit written down in the notepad and basically like, you know, like went in and recorded it as like a joke thing. Like, and then we just kept building on it. Like he was like, like did a crazy like beat change. And I was like, let me see. And I went look at my notebook and there was like, an, you know, another phrase where I was like, well, I can say what you going to do for the pussy. And then there's like a third beat change. And so like we made the song and it like started out as me like goofing off. And then it was like, damn, fuck, this is really good. And then like I went and performed it live and it, 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 got a better reaction than any of my other songs. I'm like, damn, fuck, he's right. Fuck. It's a high so, energy song. It, it's yeah, a, it's, it, it's you a, gotta it's dumb a it down, song. but it's also, I don't think it's that dumb because it's, 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 it's really my like kind of 
commentary on the industry. I, I don't think it is dumb at all. And like one of my, I, I wrote down one of my favorite lyrics in here is, uh, and I'm going to be Shakespeare and I'll put my glasses. Let me, mm, 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 them titties. Uh, <laughs> I may have pronounced that right. That is it, it. To actually make the sound of a motorboat and it actually works. Like I, I didn't need to see a video and I was like, he's motorboating some titties. And, and, and <laughs> I fucking love that. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> and then you see it in the video. And, you're and like, then you see it. That, that helps. I, I do like, I like <laughs> seeing them. I do like seeing them. The visual always help when I perform live too. You're like, you know, like my hat's flying off and my glasses right. are going off to the side. But yeah, I was, I'm very proud that I was able to, um, successfully turn the motor boating sound into a rap lyric. I love it. And I, I, I don't know it. if I'm the first that did it, but I did it well. I, if you, if you're not the first, you're the best. And that's really at the end of the day, that's all that matters. That's all that, all that matters. Now you have some, before we go into the performance, you have, uh, since we've last talked, you've expanded, man. The, 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 the Johnny Raps multiverse has expanded and it's grown. And there, there's, different version and variants of you in other industries. Let's talk a little bit about your new podcast. I love it. So the, the best damn uh, morning show, my favorite morning show, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> when we actually show up. <laughs> when, when they show up. When they show up. But hey, man, for, for you guys to uh, come out the gates like this, that's that's rookie of the year type of stuff. That's mellow yeah. ball type of stuff. So I love yeah. it. So tell me a little we bit. We both about like have a lot going on in our lives, but it was just like, you know what, let's let's fucking do this. Um, you know, we didn't really know each other that well at all. I I I met Christelle or I am Chris Stylin, or as she's known on stereo as Black Velma. Uh whatever whatever you want to call her. You know, I met her doing a backup vocals for one of her songs during quarantine, actually. I was like passing through Park Slope or something. And, and Rob was like, yo, can you lay down, come lay down like some backup vocals? And I was like, well, I'm like right around the corner. So sweet. And uh, yeah, I came in and that was it. Like I met her very briefly. I bounced in like a half hour. Um, but I, you know, I guess like we followed each other on social media and um, I don't even remember how this like came up but she asked me to come like do a pot one of her podcasts and then she was like i really like like you're really interesting do you want to do a podcast with me and i was like i've always wanted to do podcasts i've always been told i should do podcasts i don't listen to podcasts because i don't like hearing anybody talk about myself so like i don't know the fucking first thing about a podcast so if you want to like lead the way then, you know, I'll just follow, you know, and I'm pretty busy. So I don't have a lot. I'm right now. I'm st I'm starting to get a little bit more into the, the behind the scenes. I want to invest a little bit more time in it. Cause uh, you know, Christelle's put in so much work. I'm just kind of like the fucking uh, uh, like right now, I'm just kind of the wild card. I would say she, she drives the show and I just come in with, hey, you know, I, I would love jokes. To I have to drive this this uh, train. I'm the Sandra Bullock of this speed bus. But, hey, I would love to be able to sit in the passenger seat sometimes and just ride along. So it, it, it it's dope, man. You have, you're the talent. You, you know, you're the talent. You don't have to – the actor doesn't have to direct his own movie. You're the talent. So it works. It works. <laughs> you know, just sit there and be pretty and do the thing. And it's dope. Yeah. I, you guys have great chemistry. So I, I love yeah, it. Yeah, we do. Like right off the bat we did. And I think that's why she asked me to do it. And, you know, yeah, it's great. It's – you know, she, she's a cool person and, and very talented. I'm, you know. Hi. Uh, so before that, we were also talking about, you know, the music and everything. But also, man, you, you're, you're a hustle, man. You're helping people fulfill their dreams, man. Tell, tell us a little bit about that and how you're out there really just helping people get their accounts up, get their you know followers up and really just help chase their dream. And you've referred a ton of people to me um that are just you know you so say overall you're 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 a helper you're not only a uh, you're not a taker you're you're a giver that that's a valentine's day episode so y'all take with that with what you will but uh you know tell us about how you're giving back and you're helping with these artists and and some of the programs you have well 
I just kind of came to realize that, you know, that, that the internet is a community and that Instagram is a community and that, you know, uh, the, the, the music world is a large community full of little communities and there's all these just communities. And that's, I do a lot of work in the community with my day job and, you know, I felt like I had built a lot of resistance in general to participating in social media, you know, given my age, you know, and, and, and not always having to rely on it. From the <laughs> <laughs> I am from the night. We are from the 1900s. We're, yes, we're, yes, we're, we're late, the 19- 19, late 1900s. Someone told me that like, dude, you were born in the late 1900s and almost assassinated them. Right. <laughs> I was like, you're fucking I'll right. Kill you, Dan. I'll kill you. <laughs> my age. <laughs> <laughs> but fucking yeah, man. I was I I I hated Instagram, and I've been using it for four years trying to build my numbers, and still fucking hated it, man. And I was just like, you know, that was part of me that just wanted to participate more in the community of it. There was part of me that was throwing money to the wind and was just being like, you know, eh, eh, uh, whatever. I don't, I don't know. I just need something to work because I want somebody to hear my music. So sure. Here, here you know, Busta Rhymes, you know, <laughs> here's, here's some cash for a shout out and, you know, DM for promo. Okay. Rip me off. Thank you. But I was just <laughs> trying shit. Cause I was, I was like desperate. And, you know, I saw, I saw some shit that Gary V had said about, like, if you don't participate in like, you know, it's called social media. So it's, it's so it's social media for a reason. It's not a one ended thing. And, you know, so I was participating more in the community. I was investing in myself marketing wise, not in a very like smart strategic way, but I was you know, doing what I, I was just fucking trying shit because nothing had been working. And, you know, I got ripped off a lot at the beginning. So I stopped spending money. And then I, because I was just skeptical of everything. And then I started spending money on everything again, because I was just like, if I keep this mindset, then I'm going to always be fucked. So I, I threw caution to the wind and I, you know, got some things out of the money I spent. I wasted some money. Long story short, you know, I posted that thing with Busta Rhymes, the video shout out that I bought from him. And my uh, manager, my now manager at EDST Everyday Success Team, John Del Saint, who is my fucking boy, um, hit me up and you know, I was hesitant as fuck, man. I played the, I did the whole like cat and mouse back and forth with him. And, but he got on the phone with me and that was, that was something that was different. You know, when people are trying to rip you off on the internet, they don't normally get on the yeah, phone with you. you. You're like, how right. can I help you out? And he was like, you know what I mean? He's like, I used to be an A&R. And, uh, so let me ask you how much you gave Busta Rhymes for that. And I could probably do something that is, you know, more effective for you, uh, for much cheaper. Um, now the thing that the, the reason I don't regret the, doing the Buster Rhymes thing is because it gave me the credibility to make John Dell want to hit me up. Yeah. And I had, I not done that. So it wasn't a waste. And he still tells me to this day that it was a waste. And I was like, bro, you never would have fucking checked out my page. Nothing. He's always like, don't go around paying celebrities. Don't. I'm like, I'm not going to do that a lot anymore. But I'm not saying like it's 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 not always a waste, right? Yeah, yeah. It got me to here. So, you know, uh, EDSD Everyday Success Team. It's a really good company. They're like a giant network of you know thousands of entrepreneurs and artists and all kinds of people that are just trying to build their own brands. And you know, they've they've the strategies that they use and the services that they have set up are pretty much, you know, the same services that bigger marketing companies use or like like giant labels might use for their artists. And they've just, they've set that up on a like ad hoc kind of um, like service by service basis 
to kind of get independent artists to to uh, you know be able to compete on their the same strategies yeah. for themselves at a reasonable budget and that kind of thing. So um I really enjoyed the service. I don't know the first thing about fucking um I mean I do do sales to a degree in my day job, but it's more of a a, a hospitality job. I mean, I, I'm a brand ambassador and I sell a brand, but it's more, I don't have a quota. So it's more of a, a hospitality thing. So I have no sales experience really to speak of. And I uh, have no, the research that I've done on internet marketing is still minimal. But this company has laid out a blueprint for me. And so I am, you know, able to learn as I go. And share that knowledge with with everybody on the team below me. My manager is able to do the same thing, share that knowledge on the team below him. And then since everything is on like a, a team basis, you know, like I have my team and I manage them and he has his team and he manages us and then he has a manager and then he has one more above him. And then that's where it stops. But um, because it's it's set up in that way. <laughs> you have access to the resources that all of the individuals above you have that are outside of the network that you're paying to be a part of too, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it makes perfect sense because it, it only helps for everybody to be successful because it's a team, you know, yeah. I get an assist, still an assist, it still leads to a score. So it's all, it's all, it's all good, you know? Exactly. Uh, exactly. And it, it, and you know, so it made me, um, enjoy participating in the community of Instagram, at least that's the only really, that's the only really, uh, platform I've been popping off on. Um, I've been focusing really on, like you said, I've been doing a lot of different things cause I'm, I'm trying, I was, I'm trying to focus on building my brand as a personality right. overall. Right. You know, Johnny Raps is a rapper, but I have all this other entertainment experience and all this other stuff that I want to offer. And so that's, you know, that's what I've been trying to bring to the table, like most of 2021 to get my brand popping, because I don't think it makes sense to release music to, you know, uh, to fall on deaf ears. It's kind of it's a weird thing. The way the industry is set up now, it's like kind of a, a chicken before the egg situation. Where, really like, yeah, yeah, you it, have it, to have the image first, right? Or, or right. you're, or you're not found. Where before it used to be like, let's find this person that has the raw talent and mold them into this image. It's like now you have to have your own image, your own fan base, and then we'll start paying attention to you. So that credibility factor is so key. And and it's 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 ironic that you know <clears throat> you say that. And, you know, and that's why we talk about the independent grind. And yes, it's a grind. But when you realize these record labels, what you're paying for, you know, and people say, I'm not paying, they're paying me. No, in advance, you're paying for that. You have to pay that back. You go, learn your pay. That, that's your money. You're paying. It's kind of like taking a school loan. At the end of the day, you get your degree six months later. Uncle Sam comes on the door. It's like, hey, give me my goddamn money back. Where's my money, man? He hits you with the stew. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, man. I tell everybody, just, just just watch all eyes on me and watch the part where Suge Knight busts out the big ledger, dude. It's like they, they made that shit so dramatic and epic. He, he's like, oh. Oh, you think all oh, this was free? And he busts the list. The book is like this big. Yeah. He busts the shit off, opens it like this. <laughs> it, 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 it literally is. And luckily people are, I mean, not fast enough because you still, and I'm not going to name any rapper's name, but you still see rappers that have sold millions of records still on Twitter. Like, they got me. And I'm like, you didn't see Cadillac Records? You didn't see All Eyes On? You haven't seen any of these movies? You, you, you haven't, you know, get your paperwork together. So I thought we, I was we, living large. Well, that's something that I take comfort in is like, you know, I'm not the best with my money. I do like frivolous spending and shit like that. Like, I really need to stop buying Ninja Turtles on eBay, dude, bro. I have so many Marvel pops. <laughs> it, 
<laughs> we have so many. I have so many Marvel pops that I, I don't think I bought a grocery in three years. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm literally DoorDash some time before the uh, interview came on. I'm like, dude, I'm spending like forty dollars a day on fast food. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. not that I want it. But if I did ever get like some type of major advance, I'm not worried about that situation because i'm just not gonna be like you're not gonna buy the buying the, cars and chains and shit you're not gonna buy the four million dollar i'll buy one car and one chain <laughs> you're not gonna get the four million dollar watch that i saw fat joe buy the other day <laughs> no, <laughs> but anyway so you're saying fat joe spent his net worth on the watch according to google According to Google, you know, and who knows how accurate the Google machine is, but according to Google, and so I'm like, I'm sure he's getting that uh that uh versus money. I'm sure that was a nice little check he got from that. <laughs> uh, so as they always say about this time, you've got a little treat for us. It's Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen, and days and others and all people of this universe. It's a special day. I'm gonna let me put my deep voice so I can give you a proper introduction. All right. Let's get ready, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, Down in the Den proudly presents to you the Holland Jungle. Mr. John E. Raps talking about something that us get fellas and some of the ladies hope we get for Valentine's Day. The world yeah. debut. Valentine's Day 2022. My man, John E. Raps. Featuring Sean Bradley, oh. not the NBA player, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I know you get that all the time. The world debut, motherfucking Johnny Raps, down in the den, your boy Mars. Pussy! Let's go! <laughs> Pussy, I love it. Pussy, I need it. Pussy, I want it. Pussy, I need it. Pussy, yeah. Pussy, yeah. Pussy, what? Pussy, yeah. 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 Pussy, World debut. What you gonna do for the pussy? I do a lot for the pussy. What you gon' do for the pussy? Yeah, I do a lot for the pussy. What you gon' do for the pussy? I do a lot for the pussy. What you gon' do for the pussy? I said I do a lot for the pussy. Yo, I love it when you climb on top. I love it when you climb on top. Woo! Love the way you ride my cock. Till that pussy pop. Ooh. I love the way you ride my dick till you make it go drip drip. Love it when you climb on top. Yo, I love it when you climb on top. Pussy, I love it. Pussy, I need it. Pussy, I want it. Pussy, I beat it. Pussy, oh, pussy, pussy, what? Pussy, yeah. pussy, yeah. pussy, oh, pussy, oh, pussy, oh, pussy. Oh, pussy. Oh, pussy. Pussy, I love it. Pussy, I need it. A pussy, I want it. Pussy, I beat it. Pussy, 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 pussy. My man just busted all over the floor. That's good, pussy. Oh man, that was. We didn't do a sound check or rehearsal or anything. I love That's it. That's the type man. of song it is. <laughs> it's the type of song it is. It's fucking raw. Raw and pussy. That goes together. Well, that doesn't go together. Safe sets, ladies and gentlemen. Never mind. Dope. Fucking dope, guys. Thank like ODB, you. like ODB says, use the Trojan. 
used to trend. And then he had like 13 kids or something like that. So I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna take any advice from you, Mr. OTP, in that in that respect. Fucking phenomenal. I love the fucking energy, man. Phenomenal. That was a world debut, Valentine's Day performance. Johnny Smith. John, uh, I'm so high. You can call me John, Johnny Smith. Yeah, I was about to call you by your real name, John. That's, my, that's Marshall, you know? <laughs> yeah, same thing. Man, that was fucking amazing, man. The energy, man, I love it, man. So this comes out Valentine's Day, February 14, 2022. What time does the out is the song release midnight or is the sp- when, when it, can they actually when when distro kid says so when distro so when, when it know, actually populates <laughs> which I hope to God is is on the fourteenth which and I'm I sure think I think yeah, what, like midnight it? technically it should be available midnight yeah I think it's midnight I think it's midnight I want to yeah. say midnight let's say midnight we'll say midnight but this is going to be great synergy. I want you guys to go ahead and follow my man, Johnny Raps. Give him the social media. Oh, yeah. It's at John E. Raps. That's J-O-H-N-E-R-A-P-S. John E. Raps. And, uh, yeah, you can find me on all platforms at John E. Raps. Go to www.johnerapps.com. You'll be able to click on all the links there. If you try to like search me or something, it's going to come up with like little John or something. Cause I'm not really, you know, I'm still working on my Google. It, you're still you're go- not like on my, yet. my you, SEOs or whatever the fuck that is. Yes. One, one of those things where like the guy from another country contacts you. He's like, Hey, it's, it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> the people on the internet, I, I get at least 15 emails a day because I use a hashtag music. From like somebody in another country that's like, dude, we really love your music, and I'm like, I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't make music. It's, you <laughs> haven't, you haven't heard any of my music because I haven't released any of my music. Uh, I don't know what you're talking to. They're like, hey man, we'd love to sign you up to a deal. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna fall for that one, but you know, appreciate it, appreciate it. So man, we'd love to have you wire us nine hundred dollars so that we yeah. can put you on a plane to go open for the baby. Yeah, they're gonna get me on a uh, playlist and a free feature for uh, with Little Wayne and the baby all for nine hundred dollars. So I mean, money yeah. well spent. Yep, perfect. So John, brother, thank you again for gracing us, man. You're always welcome. You're 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 a family member, man. We got to do more stuff together. Can't wait to see all the success. Valentine's Day, lovers. Guys, if you didn't get any to that performance, that's that's on you, man. Your game is I know, I know I'll probably, you know, get some. Oh, anyway. Uh, but uh <laughs> as always, Johnny Raps, Sean Bradley, man, thank you so much for that fucking amazing that's performance. Good. Shout out. Who else is in there? There's uh There's Rob Cortex. Rob Sparks. Shout out to Rob. Shout out the to Mastermind that. behind Johnny Raps. The mastermind. I love it, man. I love it. Shout out to the whole crew. As always, guys, thank you for tuning in and down and then. We're giving you the best. We're giving you live performances. And it's free. What more do you want? We're giving you the dope shit. As yep. always, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you put those red circles. That's my icon for Mars. Blow it up on Johnny Rap's page. Let them know that you've seen him on down in the den make sure you subscribe to my man's page check out his music get it on title the, the artists get a bigger share get it on title subscribe listen do it that's what it's you all about first get on title get on title bro we, we, we call it spotify ride that wave <laughs> fuck spotify <laughs> unless you guys give me enough checks i'm easily sold uh, anyway I'm too, but uh, i'm too into my i'm too into my algorithmic playlists i i just love being able to hit a song and make a playlist out of it yeah i'm a, I'm a title boy i'm a title boy but as always it as we end every fucking episode the same way peace love unity and respect Johnny Raps. Right, damn. Raps. Johnny Raps. I do it on the side. Mars. Deuces. It's down in the den. So go tell a friend. The best podcast on earth is about to begin. We got jokes and news and movie reviews. After dark NC-17 with the crew. Interviews with the best artists around. So like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now. Let's go. 
like, comment, subscribe to the show starting right now.